Hey guys, John here from Pit Bros. I'm down here at FX Buckley down in Barnhill. This is Jar right here, the butcher, the key guy. Uh, and he's going to teach me some stuff about lamb, how to break it down. And later we're going to cook off some lamb chops as well. Jar, tell, tell me exactly what you're going to do. So we're going to split down the lamb into each portion. Um, what you'd want to take home with you. So this wax, this is wax with lamb. Yeah. Nice spring. Best time of year to buy it. A bit of fat and a bit more flavour in it. It's beautiful. My favourite time of year to buy lamb. Yeah. So we always break between the fifth and six. Yeah. So you're not getting too much fat in your racks, okay. which leads down into your loins. So. Yeah. We mark around here, just behind the shoulder blade. Let's go down. Amazing. Same again. Just line up. I love cooking the lamb neck as well, you know. Love Slow. The, flavor, the, the lamb neck is amazing to braise off as well, you know. Not many people use it because it's a bit more fat, lot, like not a lot, lot of meat on it. Yeah. I'll hold That's that you. there. Yeah. Your shoulder. It's beautiful. A lamb, a lamb shoulder in the smoker or in the oven with a little bit of charred rub on top is beautiful. More fat as well in this, yeah. in there. Just more flavour. Like so, that's your jig. It's really nice with dicing. We do a nice lamb shoulder on the bone. We use the lower part of it. Beautiful. And it's just nice on the bone. Do it for Christmas. Flavor. I'm coming to Anything. your house for Christmas, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying not to cook this Christmas. <laughs> I'll do the cooking. <laughs> That's Amazing. your breastplate. So this is yeah. your lap. These are really nice ribs and stuff. So I guess Beautiful, really yeah. nice to use. Most places put them in burger where you can actually slow cook them. Yeah. Stuff them. It's really nice stuff. We, we, we can cook off some lamb chops later as well, yeah? Long yeah, bone, like something. lamb tomahawk, you know? Can I borrow yeah, that? Yeah. I'll take this. Or a roll lamb belly as well. It's that's beautiful. that's what this will be. Yeah. yeah. This will be the same. Like so, that's basically your brisket and beef. Yeah. And then you have your your flat one. So your your brevet. Beyond beautiful. That, your flank steaks really good. So like if but if customers come in, they can ask you for any cut. Yeah, we can like any, literally, if you give us a day's notice, we can maybe have most of the next day. You get anything, yeah. Within reason. Like. Look at this, beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely lamb. Not too fatty. Just lamb enough. belly, yeah. What's your favourite cut of the lamb? Mine is the sideline. Yeah. A bit of a nicer steak and like, set line's a nice start chop. Yeah. But I find there's a lot more I'll flavour look. in the... I'll take one of them there, look. Little kidneys. In the sideline. These are beautiful as well. If you grill them off or put them in a pan with a little bit of butter, put a bit of uh, bacon. Make lamb bacon. Can you do lamb bacon there? Eh? I've never done before. Salt it off, cook it, put some of that on a bit of bread with some butter. Delicious. Fried egg. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Haven't eaten enough. We always do a racks of seven chops. Yeah. Makes it a bit more even for cooking. How many bones was that there now? Seven. Seven. So there's your two racks. Take that there. Look at that. Peace. Look at the meat. Beautiful, isn't it? So we the French trim them. So yeah. after we have bones, make them look nice and pretty. We'll do some of them later. <laughs> That's going to be beautiful. I'll get you out down to my favourite part of the lamb. Yeah. There's a little fuse here. You can just cut right through. When I used to work in a place called 15 in London, it was the Jamie Oliver restaurant. There was a guy working there called Santos. And one of the first things I ever butchered was the lamb, the bone, the lamb leg. And he was teaching me how to do it as well, which was amazing. But that was 15 in London. That was incredible. But this is, you're better, Jerry. You're, you're better showing me this, you know. Just cut down. There's a little mark on the bump here. Yeah. In the middle of the bone. It's kind of it in a thumb reach. Gives you the proper amount of meat left on your leg when you're not taking a so lump of soy line with it. This lamb leg, when you you got the three muscles, isn't it? Yeah, the three muscles. So you have the top side, you have the knuckle, yeah, and you'll have the silver side. Lovely. It's really good. They're the main muscles in the leg that we use now. We really use them in our marinated legs. Yeah. The mainly the silver side and the top side part of the leg. It's really good. Yeah. There's your two legs. Look at that. You can slice this up, season it, roast it off, slice it. 
or break it into the muscles. Yeah. Um, and then you can grill them off and do like lamb leg steaks. Beautiful. Even cut it like that, isn't it? Yeah. Lamb leg steaks. On the shanks. Just taking the shanks the off. Shank. Slow, oh my lord. Slow cooking. A lamb a shank. Cut it here. Yeah, Guinness. I'm definitely going to your house. Cut this over. Braise it off. In a tray. Loads of veg. Guinness. Stock. Slow cook it for like five, six hours. Too excited here now. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop rolling the camera there, guys. Yeah. There's a bit of a point here, right? This is my favorite part of the sideline. Yeah. There's a bit of a point in the bone there. It's like taking the sideline off. It's the exact same as taking the sideline off. Okay, like. Yeah. What are you going to do with the legs for the shop now? The legs we did prep for the counter, we'll use them in our marinade and pre pack there. We yeah. put them on gold cards with rosemary, mixed herbs, oregano, garlic, and red wine vinegar. Will you break that down now as well? Yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Can you break that down and show me yeah. how you do it? The smell is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Every Wednesday we get a nice fresh Libyan lamps. Yeah. Let them settle for a day or two, just so it makes it a lot easier to work on. And then, there's a special way of bone it is. Yeah. Where you follow it up, right, there's a fuse in the bone. Just here. Yeah. Go straight through that. And that's your sideline roast. That piece there is there. The flavour in that is top notch. That's but it's the also side roast that's roast the sideline roast. Look. Well you can cut it into chops and it's I find it nicer than the centre line. A bit more flavour and a bit more meat. It takes a lot of meat to keep me happy. And the fat as well. Rinder off all the fat in a pan. And then you can use the lamb fat when you're cooking it in Just the in it. the pan instead of using oil. Use the lamb fat. More flavour in there. Like look at that. It's beautiful. Then you have, that's your main piece that everyone likes to buy, the centre line. Centre line, yeah. And yeah. then also known as the saddle chop, when you get a really nice. The saddle chop. When you cut it in two together. So if customers come in, you just you can do anything yeah. for them, literally. Yeah, we can just tell them, do a saddle chop, chop. We can do it like that. We roll can. it, everything. That's the other way we have them here is, I'll show you how to count it. Ah, so that's that one. Is yeah. Half the, of that, yeah. yeah. So but, the people mainly buy them like that, but. That's more of an old skill cut is the saddle chop like that. Yeah. Love that. Not many places to do it. Yeah. And now we'll break this one down. I'll show you how to do a leg, right? Yeah. I always take the shank off first. Yeah. Just halfway through the bone, you'd feel a little dent. Nothing better than a lamb shank, is no, it? Just like, cooked off, fall apart. A little bit of mashed potato. <laughs> and a bit of gravy and a pint of Guinness. So just following this bone around. It's lovely. How long have you been a butcher? Uh, 13 years now. 13 years. It's all a blow now. Just started to start 13 years ago. <laughs> it's, uh, it's different now. We started in the soup value kind of basis. Yeah. Moved around different, like into different shops now. And soup value is kind of, it is a different type of butcher to what yeah. all this is. Like it's, well, I couldn't wait to get in and actually break down the whole carcasses. Yeah. So you just follow down this bone, sorry. Getting distracted. And then just keep following down. There's a lovely seam here. You follow that seam. This is your Zoom in there and you can have a look at these knife skills. They're uh, that's your unreal. Top, that's your top side? Yeah. Obviously now in beef you're a bit more pressed with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the seams are a bit bigger to follow. But. That one now, season it up, grill it. Beautiful. Bit of lemon on top, bit of oil, rosemary. We used to do nice slow cooked cannellini beans with these ones. 
with garlic and oil and parsley and mint and everything. It was beautiful. You say you want to come to mine for dinner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a bone. Always, if you ever break around, there's a gland there to take out. Yeah. Can yeah. you get sweetbreads as well? We can. It's kind of harder to get. Yeah. Um, not a lot of places do it. Like, because we do what I see, like the lamp we do, what they do. Yeah. Everything, like, but they need a bit more notice to get, but we can get them. There's your knuckle, your silver side. Beautiful. That will be your oil around the beef. Yeah. And this will be our heel. That'll be a bit of a heel. So awesome. if you have a white shin heel, that's what you get. That there is the nicest in the shoe with a heel and beef. This one. If you get it in beef, like, because it's a lot bigger. Yeah. But again, I wouldn't be shooing on you, it's quite lean. If I'm doing lamb shoe, shoulder is what you want. Shoulder, yeah. This piece here. Slow cook it off. Slow cook, just the, the fat. Even, the jigger chops, even time in hull on the bone, really nice. It's amazing. Yeah. That's it, guys. Sure. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to his house now for dinner. <laughs> so yeah you bring the beer yeah <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching and uh Jer, thank you for having me down here yes. and to Pleasure. all and dara and everyone for fx boxy like it's unbelievable yeah. and it's good to see this and learn some more as well so anytime see you soon come and visit and say hello to Jer as well talk to you soon thanks